Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Ben and I have been making motorcycle videos and snowmobile videos, I suppose, for the last eight years now, which means I have gone through a lot of helmets, a lot of different camera mounts, a lot of different cameras, a lot of different mic setups. And I've got to say, I'm really pretty sick of trying to fit three feet of 3.5 millimeter lapel mic cable inside of my helmets with me. It's just a hassle and especially if you want to try to make a video with a buddy and also pick up their audio you then of course have to well ask them for their helmet take it all apart shove a bunch of cable inside of it and then stick a permanent mount of some sort to the outside of their beautiful helmet it's really not something that a lot of people are willing to do and obviously it takes time and it's not really something that I wanted to mess around with anymore so I decided to come up with something else. So that's why I ordered this Dango Designs gripper mount. Essentially, it does exactly what it sounds like it would do. It grips on the chin bar of the helmet and essentially gives you a spot to mount your camera to. It's got a little spring inside of there. So technically, whatever action camera you decide to put on here is somewhat isolated from any vibrations you might pick up with the helmet. Uh, also, of course, if you bash the camera with something, there's maybe a little bit of extra give there. So hopefully you don't snap the mount or break the camera. And now as great as that all sounds, it doesn't really give me much of an advantage over the Pro Shot mount that I've been running. I do really like these. They are supposed to be somewhat removable. Uh, I think I've just got VHB tape in between this one and the helmet on this just because I've reused it so many times. And also, I guess because the Velcro that they stick on here or the dual lock or whatever it's called actually seems stronger than the VHB tape adhesive on the back side of it. So most of the time you just end up peeling the adhesive off of the helmet or off of the back of the mount. Of course, this still doesn't really help this problem at all. I could clip this onto the inside and then wrap this all around here in a nice neat manner and you know try to deal with that. Uh, actually, if, if you wrap one of these cables around itself too many times, you will end up with a delay between your audio and your video. Ask me how I know. Now, maybe you could buy a lapel mic with a slightly shorter cable, but last time I looked, there really wasn't much out there unless you look at a 3.5 millimeter boom mic. I did have to open this up with a round file a bit, but check out how slick this is. That'll go all the way through there. Then I've got the little foam cover for this guy, just VHB taped to the backside of this. VHB tape is just a double-sided tape made by 3M that has sort of a, a foam in between the two adhesive portions. I always keep a roll of it on hand just because it works great for stuff like this. I honestly didn't know how well it would stick to this, but it seems like it should work well enough to keep that where it is. Stick my camera on here. And because I'm using the media mod here, all I've got to do is flip open this little door on the back and insert my microphone. How slick is that? Microphone is going to be in a pretty decent place. Obviously, if you're breathing on it a lot, you can kind of pick up some sound from that, but most new cameras can kind of cut that out to the point where it's not really a problem. And to be honest, I wasn't really sure that I would like this enough to run on my helmet 100% of the time. I was really thinking this would be just sort of a prototype to stick on my dad's helmet or one of my buddy's helmets. But now that I see how cool this is and I realize how nice it's going to be to be able to pull it off so quick, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't know how you can beat it except I actually do. If you are somebody that lives in an area like me where it gets kind of cold once in a while, GoPro batteries don't last very long. Heck, GoPro batteries don't last very long when it's 90 degrees out. So for the last three years now, I have not been using batteries in my cameras at all. This is just a power bank. It's got in and out ports on the bottom. You can use it to charge a cell phone or whatever, uh, but you can also use it to run a camera as basically sort of an external battery. I can stick this inside of a coat pocket or even inside of a shirt pocket to keep it even closer to my body heat. So when it's zero degrees outside, this still stays somewhere around 70, 80 degrees optimal temperature and there's just simply a cable running up to this. So again, you would need to have a media mod to do this, but just like before, there's a little door that opens on the back here. I think you can get away with just a straight mount, but I do like the 90 degree connection on here. And then you simply just have to plug this in on this end and you have, I mean, days of battery life. I have never ran one of these down dead. Uh, I Most of the time we'll get back and there's maybe a, a 
I guess, indicator light or two missing, but that's it. I mean, these will last forever. Obviously, you still have some cables to worry about here, and to pass this off to a buddy or my dad is a little embarrassing and kind of annoying for them. Obviously, they've got to you know keep track of all this, and then anytime you take your helmet off, this is attached. But man, does this beat having to change batteries every 20 minutes or riding around for 20 minutes and not knowing that you haven't been recording because your battery died or forgetting your batteries or having to bring batteries. Other than being able to not have these two connected by a cable, it doesn't get much better than this. I'm, I'm super pumped about it. I hope you guys can get some use out of it. I hope this was helpful to you. If it was, I will put some links down in the description for all this stuff, as well as my helmets and stuff. I simply do not make enough off of ads to make this even feasible. So I really do appreciate when you guys take the time to use those affiliate links down below. You can buy anything from them after you've clicked on one. It doesn't have to be any of this stuff and it really does make a big difference for me. I suppose might as well do a quick test ride here. Well, not ride, test run. If you buy this specific model of power bank, it seems like it basically will shut off and then not turn back on again until you unplug this or hit the button. But for me, it definitely is a worthwhile hassle compared to messing around with batteries. For some reason, it does take a little bit of extra time to get this camera turned on. I don't know if you can quite see it, but right down there is my volume indicator there. And if I give this a quick tap, you can see that it's picking it up from there and not there. So I imagine this will probably take a little bit of getting used to to line that up straight. The microphone is directly in front of my mouth. A lot of these lapel mics aren't really meant to be that close, which I think is probably why this one peeks out. And what I mean by peeks out is if I talk really, really loud, then you can tell it sort of just stops recording, kind of, or uh, it just kind of caps the sound off. I don't know why I decided <laughs> I would keep yelling like that, uh, but I mean, it, it is a little bit goofy. It's not ideal. I think eventually I'll probably put a little bit more of some sort of covering, maybe a, a, just a full-on dead cat in there. Well, not a full-on dead cat, but you know what I mean. Dead cat is the long-haired little... I don't have any of them around here. A different version of this little foam thing with long hair on it, essentially. And I think that would be okay, except for the fact that it might be a little bit close to my face in this helmet or my mouth. But, I mean, look at this. It, it definitely is a little bit obtrusive, but... I mean, like I said, even with my big coat on, by the time I turn my head here, I mean, it, it's not an issue. I, I really think this is going to be cool. I mean, just being able to pull this off and take a look at the camera, I mean, you, you can't beat that. There is there is nothing that I've used that is going to be anywhere near as cool, as easy, as nice as this is. I, I really think this is the way to go. And honestly, I was never really too concerned about it to begin with, but now that I think about it, not having this giant thing stuck to the helmet all the time would be kind of nice. I mean, actually being able to use the air intake on the front of the helmet, you know, just having a regular old helmet that doesn't have something that could, you know, get caught by the wind or anything. As much as I like Pro Shop mounts, man, I might be the end of these for me. If you feel like I helped you out, if you like it's worth it, definitely check those links out down there. I would really appreciate it. Other than that, guys, until next time, take care, stay safe, stay swanky, get out, enjoy this beautiful world any chance you get, and get yourself one of these mounts if you want to record it, because... God dang, this is, I think, going to be super nice. I can't wait. Ooh, that DW is ready to go, man. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I guess I should be talking. Should also be going 40 miles an hour to see how that sounds. I'm going to shift her into whatever gear that is. Probably fifth. And full clean air. That's what that sounds like. Boy, what a beautiful sunny day.